Hi everyone, my name is Peter Pakulski. Today we will continue building a financial model for a Uber, Lyft or Taxi business idea. And today we will be uh, talking about gasoline uh, fuel costs. Uh, today we will be modeling this type of expenses. I hope you will enjoy this video. You may give us a like, subscribe, share this video with your friends. You can also order financial models from scratch for your unique business ideas. We can help you with that. At the end screen of this video, I will give you the link uh, to the playlist where I will be keeping all these tutorials. And when I finish this model, I will uh, put all these uh, tutorials links in the description of this video as well so you may watch them for free one by one from scratch so first of all let's um, run through what we did uh, before uh, at previous tutorials so we have a rule through the whole our financial model so blue cells are inputs uh, we're not uh, putting the data inside uh, any other cells only in blue ones so we are starting with uh, different uh, with the library of uh, trips that we make uh, so these are the portraits of trips we can name them so this is the mileage this is the duration of the trips the revenue per, tri per trip we can switch on and off different types of trips uh, we can add local and global coefficients to mileage duration revenues this will uh, all be needed uh, further uh, for scenario analysis and for stress testing so this will be a necessary tool uh, when we will get to that uh, moment then we uh, started describing the revenues mileage uh, for the typical week so we have uh, days from monday till saturday here they are and for each day inside the typical week we specify the amount of trips we make uh, we, we add local coefficient uh, for the to, to the amount of trips uh, and we can switch uh, different types of trips from calculations in, inside specific day so this is done for each uh, day inside the typical week then uh, the input area where we can switch on and off different days from calculations from cash flow statement uh, we can uh, here we add the global coefficient to amount of trips for each day um, inside the typical week we also add uh, the limitation system for mileage daily mileage and daily duration uh, and then daily uh, daily uh, timing when we are online so this will make us believing in realistic numbers so we can't for example uh, make more than 300 miles per day on monday and we can't make uh, and, we, and we can't be driving more than seven hours for example per day so then uh, we are specifying when we start operating activity year and month then we uh, describing uh, then we're describing uh, how fast we are reaching the target revenues then we move to our car we specify when we sell an old car so when it reaches for example 300,000 miles we are selling it as an old one uh, this is the price when we buy a new car this is the price when we sell an old car this is the amount of down payment if we have a loan this is the interest rate this is the term of a loan um, and here we can there is a switcher between own funds and using a loan so this will affect the cash flow statement then we are start describing periodic dealership maintenance so here we specify the mileage on the odometer and here we specify uh, the cost of uh, dealership maintenance uh, when the car reaches this or that mileage on the odometer and these are 
parts costs. Uh, for example, these are the months of operating activity of the car and these are the costs uh, for parts at this or that moment of operating cycle of the car. Then uh, we started talking about investment plan, the primary investment plan. Uh, we, we don't also buy a car, but we may also have some other cost and here before the operating activity starts we, we are specifying what we invest in uh, how much we invest in and when we invest in so this block of inputs is devoted uh, for that then we uh, start describing fixed costs so here we uh, specify the list of fixed costs here we have the typical year from January uh, to December and here we specify the algorithm, maybe some, some fixed costs have uh, seasonality and here we specify uh, the algorithm for fixed costs. We can uh, add local and global coefficients for these or that fixed cost items and we can switch them on and off from calculations. All this stuff will be later needed for during scenario analysis and stress testing. So we are creating basis for that at this moment. And now let's uh, move to uh, gasoline, gasoline costs. So let's create a new um, gasoline costs. This will be a new block of inputs. The first input will be the um, price of gasoline uh, this will be dollar per gallon let's imagine it will be five dollar you can put any value you want this is the input so we are coloring this cell with blue Then uh, we are specifying how many uh, miles per gallon uh, uh, can our, can make our car can our car make um, miles per gallon. Let's say it will be forty five miles. This was input as well. So I color we are coloring this with. Um, uh, with blue so this is the price this is miles per gallon and now let's create the timeline for gasoline gasoline costs So first of all, we need to know how many gallons we need per month. So amount of uh, gallons needed monthly. Gallon per month. So what we need? So we are going up and here we have a wonderful line with the mileage made by the car. Here it is, line 152. So we are taking this value and divide it by the amount of miles per gallon now we are freezing this cell
So this is the amount of gallons needed monthly. And now we can uh, cal can uh, calculate gasoline expenses dollar per month. So we can multiply the amount of gallons needed and multiply it on the price of one gallon. So now let's extrapolate this formula to the right. So these are the gasoline costs and now let's color it with red because this line will go to the cash flow statement. So this is the story uh, of gasoline costs. I hope you enjoyed. You may give us a like, subscribe, share this video with your friends. You can also order financial models from scratch for your unique business ideas. We can help you with that. At the end screen of this video, I will give you the link to the playlist where I will be keeping all these tutorials. And when I finish this model, I will give you all the links in the description of this video as well. So you can watch all the tutorials one by one from scratch. So thank you guys for watching. See you next videos. Thank you and bye.